And so the third lock opens, silently this time, leaving only one more to be dealt with. I can finally pay Hades. Orpheus barely whispers it, but it's enough to prick the ears of both Heracles and Ulysses. Neither says a word, but the pieces are falling into place. Orpheus' story isn't unusual, a broke young musician with a dead fiancé, just another life chewed up by the city. This broke young musician didn't accept that, though. Didn't care he didn't have the money to have a mind from the Acheron rebodied, or that those as were came back wrong. He needed his true love. So he went to Hades. Here I should mention that Hades was no stranger. After all, the mechanisms had been in the city a long time, having our own brand of fun. I, your humble narrator Johnny DeVille, was in one of the lower levels, depopulating it. Marius claims he was psychoanalyzing the Olympians, and the toy soldier says it was busy being a nymph, whatever that means. But our quartermaster, Ashes O'Reilly felt right at home, decided to seize control of the Acheron and make the ferryman dance to a different tune, took on the name of Hades. And so Hades took those foolish enough to venture to the Acheron, Ulysses, Heracles, Orpheus, and decided to have a little fun. <laughs>